Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Modded Enter the Gungeon. We are jumping in once again and I'm going to go over to our little room here and I'm going to, for one, grab a few items for the next run. I need to get myself some more hegemony credits. We got the fossilized gun. Really happy to have that. <laughs> we got the gun though. Oh, heck. And we got an extra key. The keys are really good. I was told that I should definitely try this out as well. It's a hundred though. Okay, we'll, we'll try it for a hundred. I'm not very good at punch out, so... Oh, this is... This is cool. Oh my god, you get like casings and stuff as well. That's awesome. Damn it. Okay, nice. First phase done. Let's go. I'm not very good at getting uh, at getting the power combos going, but I can do a reasonable job at taking this guy out. Damn it, I always forget that the cheese he can't block. There you go, go for a power attack. I'm loving this. Oh, damn it, I should have blocked. Boom! Two times multiplier. <laughs> this is wicked. Go for the power attack. I am really whiffing this right now. Let's not try and die. I can't remember how to... <laughs> I couldn't remember how to dodge that. I've not done this in so long. I'm going to try to play again. That was pretty fun. I am going to run out of my Gemini credits pretty quick, but I'll spawn some more in. Don't worry. That's pretty cool. Right. Oh, you can only do it once. Damn it. I want to know what happens if you win. Do you get anything extra if you win? Anyways, let's jump on into a run and see what we might get. So we've already started with two additional guns, a key, and I think some casings. I'm not sure what the two times multipliers were for. Were they just to increase the amount of casings we got? But still, that's really cool. A little bit of uh, boxing before we go. I, I love that. I love the visuals as well. It's really cool. I might, I might have to play that before each run. Gives you a bit of a big boost in the early game if it, if it can give you a lot of casings. Especially if you beat it. Like I said, I need to try beating it. As I said, I haven't played the punch out in so long that I'm pretty trash at it. We didn't start with any additional casings though. We did, however, start with Turtle Problem, which is pretty cute. And the Auto Gun. Fires weak energy bolts prone to seek. Interesting. Um... Yeah, so we didn't actually start with any casings here, so I'm not exactly sure what that's about. Ah, it's this thing. This thing is pretty good. It has a really peculiar firing sound, in my opinion, though. It just doesn't suit the gun at all, I don't think. But otherwise, really cool gun, and obviously good homing, which is uh, very nice. Obviously, it's going to burn through ammo reasonably quickly, but it does have a lot, so that's not a particularly bad thing. There you go. Look at that. That's beautiful. You ring around the rosy. And yeah, I, I love Turtle Problem. Fits my channel well. To have a few little fellas by my side. We've also got the Gunbow as well, which is pretty damn good. Gunbow's got some really good synergies too. The, um, the Missile Gunbow especially is one that I really like to get if I can. I have to say, I do love the ability to start out with one additional key. Okay, it killed both of those guys. That's awesome. Also, isn't Gunbo one of the items that in uh, Farewell to Arms, or was it AG and D, it got a pretty decent ammo buff? I swear it had, like, 40 ammo before, and it got buffed to 60, or maybe it was 30. I know it had low ammo, so it was kind of a useless weapon. There's kind of a lot of weapons like that in Gungeon, where they're, they're cool and powerful, but they just don't have enough ammo to be good. Like the, uh, the Derring, not Derringer, um, the Devolver. The Devolver's one of those guns where it's like, it's kind of dookie because it's just not got enough ammo. But on its own, it's kind of an interesting item. Like, I don't dislike it. I know some people do, but I think it's an okay weapon. Mainly as well because it's got loads of really cool synergies, uh, much like some of the other cool weaker guns in the game. It's, it's just a synergy magnet. Um, ooh, the RGG. I love this gun. Um, it's 
very interesting in the fact that it can do have like random damage and stats and stuff. It tends to err on the side of being bad because it is D tier, but you can sometimes get an iteration of it that's really good. I think it randomizes, um, oh hello, uh, the golden revolver. I think it randomizes her flaw. I can't re actually remember. A flashy weapon made entirely out of solid gold, not to be confused with the AU gun, which is meant to be hidden. This gun is meant to be shown off. Interesting. Hmm. So I wonder what the just. I wonder what the differences are. I wonder. I mean, it's probably not going to do a hundred damage a shot, but tarnished amulet. Interesting. Very intriguing. Oh, we got the sussy room again. The sussy room is back. Why did you do this, Never Nims? Well, this thing seems to be doing pretty well, though. With the setup we've got on it right now. We'll go and open our other chest. I don't think we're going to go Oubliette here. Maybe we will if we can afford another key or we get one dropped. Maybe we will, then. Maybe we will. Nah, we have to take a bullet modifier. Shock rounds. Nice. Okay, let's try and use this thing. I don't know if it's going to do anything interesting or if it's just going to be high damage. Ooh, it... Oh, I see what it does. Okay, okay. That's cool, that's cool. So, I should have known this. Basically, um, it just has the pop pop shrine effect built into the gun because it's the golden pistol that YV uses and YV has the pop pop effect. So, it's just... I think it is just a regular revolver but simply with the pop pop effect added to it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Also, Scorpion here. Good. I'll check this out. Ooh, that guy's a cool, large enemy. Um, uh. I think he broke the game. Wait. <laughs> Did he break the game or did my items break the game? Something broke the game. Um, gunslinger or greed? I can never remember what greed does, but I'm going to take it. <laughs> greed does something. It's good to have nonetheless. It makes shops cheaper or makes things sell for more. I, I, I don't remember. It does something. It does something. Maybe it's like I can drop stuff to sell it. I, I don't remember. I have it now. Either way. That was me being big silly. But yeah, Scorpion's pretty good here. I do think it's a little... I I'm guessing it's part of the charm of it, but I do think it's a little... little tad bit oversized. <laughs> it's just got this absolutely massive stock for no reason. Your character didn't even hold it. It's great. good. Cool little weapon though, I like it. I do like it when there's like normal, just real weapons modded into the game. Nefanim's going to be adding more of those as, as time goes on as well. Haha, -ha, it's a shop that is almost entirely useless. I love that shop, but yeah, I've, I, me and, me and Nefanim are already discussed retweaking how that shop works, because currently the cost of armor is an interesting one, because... I feel like I almost never have three or four armor, so it's kind of like, eh, it's good, but doesn't do too much. Let's try out the RGG this floor. Seems reasonable again. Oh, I think it's actually still the same, isn't it? I feel like it's still the same. That's right, stuck in a damn wall. There's one piece of armor. Keep this trainer going and we can have a little more. This gun's really good with shock rounds, actually. It's got quite a lot of spread. Enemies far away get uh, dusted with electricity as well as uh, hit by a few bullets along the way. Bit more HP there as well, thank you.
This is an annoying room because I'm going to end up destroying the chests by accident. I hate this room. I've told Nevernin before how I hate this room. <laughs> he won't change it though. Hey, that's a nice, that's a nice addition. I just think it's not ever a good idea to have enemies spawning in a chest room. I shouldn't have to be on guard when entering a chest room because that isn't something you normally have to be. It's just frustrating. But it is what it is. Still though, I'm loving this gun. <laughs> I still love that stock. It's just huge. Ooh, um, that's a great weapon, and I will open this as well. Not very good right now, but I kind of just wanted the curse, I'll be honest. Getting, I think 3.5 curse is like just the right amount to be sat at. The clown shotgun is also really good, but I'll take that for now. Yeah, I love this, uh, this weapon. We've got some really, really interesting weapon selections here. We've got a lot to mess around with. I, this is this is probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. I know that that sounds kind of dumb because it's pretty basic, but I love the fact that it has like a last uh, a last bullet fired mechanic. Um, but I also really like um, I really like the it, it just the way it fires and the visuals that it has it just looks really good. Yeah, this is a really strong weapon. It's just got a very high pop-pop percent chance. So basically the pop-pop effect, if you don't know, when you fire a round, there's a chance for it to fire more than one. So if I had one there, it fired three, then it fired two, then it fired like five, six. So it just has a chance to fire way more rounds than I'm actually pulling the trigger, which makes it essentially as ammo way more effective because those extra shots don't consume ammo. Very good. Ooh. We can actually afford something from the fella. Another great weapon. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go grab the helmet. The horned helmet. I don't know what it does, but why not? The best. Oh, uh, uh, this is insane. <laughs> this is a really strong, really strong item. I'm glad I bought it. Um, this is uh, basically getting the rage thing from the infuriating picture, whatever it's called, the one that. Convict starts with at the start of every room, which gives you double damage. So for the first like few seconds of entering a room, you have double damage, which is crazy because the first few seconds of when you enter a room are the only basically time that matters. So yeah, so it's only for about three seconds. It, you don't get you don't get much of it, uh, but for the most part, three seconds is kind of enough to kill most everything. Like obviously, it's not going to kill the second wave. But within the first wave, I think it's most of the time going to be enough. I also love this thing's reload mechanic and the bullets that it fires as well. They just look so cool. Oh, damn it. We summoned a whole new wave of enemies. I love the new changes to those mushrooms, by the way. It makes them way, way more dangerous. Yeah, I also just love the fact they have really good bullet speed as well. Ammo is very good for us here, thank you. But yeah, we just want to make sure we fire at the largest target when we enter a room, if we can, just to get as much of that rage used as possible. More ammo, I think we take that for this this time. And let's trade it out a little bit, let's swap for the fun cannon. Ooh, fun cannon's got some interesting synergy with shock rounds that I didn't think about. That's really cool, actually. Damn it, I actually got hit by a debt for once. When was the last time that happened? Yeah, this is cool. The, the longer it travels as well, the better. So we could just like fire it at a, at a distance. a web. How are you still alive? I just used my golden revolver running by accident. Whoopsie. Maybe go back to... Is this thing going to be good with the electric rounds? Maybe it is. Chance Shrine. Make sure we're holding a bad weapon. 
Roll the bones. Um, cursed and bolstered. I think we got more curse and... I don't know what bolstered did. did, did I think bolstered gave us heart containers. Oh, wait. Does this thing pierce? Either way, this is good. We got the magic man. And we do have a... Um, cell creep. Let's try selling this. This should normally sell for a pretty low amount. Didn't sell for any more with greed. Maybe we're just getting more money. I seem to, I need to have a good amount of money here. Yeah, I think with the rage, actually, this thing's pretty good. This thing with piercing would be nuts. I just kind of enter and, like, lay out a ton of shots. Beautiful. Do they bounce as well? They do. Oh my god, you hit me. Oh, it's... I can't use that gun in this room because it's homing in on the bloody wrong enemy. No! Oh, I'd be really sad if that destroyed that then. I just came in firing. We got Blast Shower. And that's a synergy with Watered Down. Interesting. Let's go find out what that does. For one, I need to find out what Blast Shower does, because I don't even know what that does right now. Um, let's have a little look-see. Let's have a little look-see. Once more into the breach. There it is. Go to Synergies. Well, synergies. Oh, there you go. Um, and last shower. Ah, it's not listed. It's not listed. Um, ice cube, maybe just just try it. Damn, yeah, it's not listed currently. That is the case sometimes. Sometimes you'll get a synergy that isn't listed. I guess we'll find out what it does. I don't even know what the blast shower item itself does. Um, in fact, I should probably check that. I'm guessing it just cleanses us of any negative effects. That's normally what the Blast Shower items do in most games. Blast. It's not... Oh, wait. I've just not expanded it. Blast. It's still not available. Big sad. Not being added yet. So I... I have very little idea what it does. I don't know what it does with water down either. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. Oh, walked right into the pit. I do that sometimes. I'll just not be paying attention and walk straight into a pit. Why are these two casings not floating towards us? That's weird. Do I just want to be using Blast Shower whenever? Or like, maybe use it while I'm on fire and see what that does? Oh, I'm sorry, my turtle buddies. Not many of you made it through there. Any more for any more? There you go. Oh, ho, ho. you just insta died to that dude. I kind of want to set myself on fire and see what that happens after that. Oh, hello. I'm not going to take that in this run. I don't think I need to. I will flip this for some extra money. This is also our rat room, apparently, which is kind of interesting. Didn't know that could be our rat room. It seems to do damage. Did Flash Out just do damage, then? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Did we have two synergy chests in one floor? And both of them were synergies? Ayo! Oh, hello, sir. Hello, you're jammed as well. Hello. This is going to be an interesting fight. We are killing it pretty fast. 
But he's also a gem, and I don't really know his attack patterns, so... Oh god, this is gonna go really poorly. <laughs> oh wait, it does a ton of damage. Flash Tower does a ton of damage. Mate, this is crazy. Yeah, Blast Tower just does a ton of damage. Okay. One criticism I've got to say. This boss is awesome, but I couldn't see jack shit then. There was red lasers all over my screen. <laughs> it would be nice if that was turned back just a little bit. Because that, yeah, that was a little confusing. What the hell does this do? I, I always get this and always forget what it does. Refilling a gun with ammo permanently increases its damage. Nice. Would have loved to have got that a little epic fill up a little earlier. We've also got the Alpha Beam. Alpha Beam? What does Alpha Beam do? Powerful Ion Beam that stings like hell. Evidence suggests this may be the first energy beam to ever find its way into the Gungeon. Basically, it's the uh, first beam weapon that never named ever made. <laughs> That's what that means. I think. How good is it? Very good. It's got quite the kick. Quite the kick. We also, yeah, got the laser lotus um, synergy too. Wait, why has this thing got like lasers coming out of it now? What's what's going on here? Does that normally have that? That's not that's not normal, right? Also, my blast shower isn't doing any damage to this guy now. What, what's going on? Like, watch. It did like a tiny, tiny amount. I'm confused. Aged bell. Good, but not not the blast shower. I want the blast shower. Carry on using this for a little bit. I've got so many cool weapons to pick from that I genuinely have no idea what to choose. No idea what to pick at all. Yeah. This with the extra damage is going to be good. Oh my god. Is that it? That is it. I think, by the way, looking at it now, looking at what I just saw, I think greed just makes some enemies drop extra casings that disappear over time. <coughs> like, some of them just seem to be disappearing slowly over time. Like, this casing isn't coming towards me, and it disappears. And that's why I've got extra money. Good, good. The last shot blasted you away. But I just want to kind of use Blast Shower at the moment I get into a room, right? It hits them all, yeah. It, it seems to do decent damage. It seems to soften them up quite a bit. Damn you with your stupid turrets never named. For some reason, that's your fault. It wasn't your fault at all, really. I'm going to blame you, because I don't like all the turrets and stuff in item rooms. Everything's never named's fault. Always. Thank you for that. Don't have to buy any now. Save our money for bigger purchases, maybe. We'll see what ends up coming our way, I guess. Not really had anything big to purchase yet. I spent a lot of hegemony credits this run, because that boss cost hegemony credits to fight as well, so. Quite costly. There's two of you. Nice. Don't kill my turtles. <laughs> that gummy just came out the ground and just instantly died. And it's, it's not gummy, he's a spent. What am I about?
These guys are gummies. Which I didn't actually get the reference for a long time. I was like, why are they gummy? What's, what's gummy about them? Is it because they have no teeth? Like they're gums? But then I realized it just means that it's a mummy, but a gun. <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, they really went basic with that one. This thing's got some real power. Ooh, I just electrified myself. Very good. I always forget this thing can electrify water, but it doesn't give you electric immunity. Very annoying considering it's an A tier. Turtle buddies don't all die. Oh god, rooms that only have one wave. We just decimate. God damn it. This better be a real rainbow chest or I'm going to throw it down. These rainbow chests can show up in normal rooms now as well. You kidding me? I did get a gun from it though. What the? The hell's going on with this thing? Is this thing broken? Why is it firing like that? <laughs> it's like firing always down to this corner. Where? Hmm. Does this fire towards what time of day it is? That would be really weird, but also kind of cool. I think maybe it... Does it? That... That would make sense. Wait a minute. I've got to see a real clock face to work this out. <laughs> um, clock. That's just how to buy a clock. Okay, uh, uh, it does. It does. <laughs> At least it looks to be. It's currently 8.40 right now. I, I thought it did. That's really dumb, but I love it. I wonder if the, uh, I wonder what the thingy says, the description. <laughs> oh my god, that sneeze was huge. I apologize. I tried to mute myself in time, but I couldn't. I stifled it. It wasn't very good. Right. Let's take a, take a look at the description of this thing. Fires bolts in the direction that corresponds to its hands in order to tell the current time. Yep. That's pretty cool. <laughs> It's stupid, but it's cool. Oh, hello there. Bloody box? What does bloody box do? Ooh, no, no, no. You didn't just hit me there, you little shit. I feel like I kind of have to take this. <laughs> Bloody box, you troll. <laughs> it's not a troll, really. I just should have looked what it did. And I decided not to. I'm going to take this, though. Because I need safety now. My health is very low. It took off, like, four hearts. It took off a lot of hearts. This is a great weapon for this boss fight, because I literally can't miss. Spam, spam, spam. Pop this for the last little bit. There you go. Beautiful. We did get another one of these. And we got another active item. The Obsidian Pistol sacrifices those you hold dear in bloody ritual. Praise be. I think this sacrifice is familiars, which I'm intrigued by because I'm kind of thinking, hey, can I just sacrifice like a ridiculous amount of turtles? Ah, I broke everything again. 
soon as these guys fire, it just breaks life. Could you die, please, so I could get on with my life? Thank you. Take two contractual obligations. I like them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sacrifice. What? Oh, it just took away my turtle item. Okay. That's a bit sad, but I've got it. I was kind of hoping it'd kill these guys too, but that's fair. Right, away we go. Was a diamond pistol worth my turtles? Almost certainly no, but it is what it is. They're with their god now, which is me. Ah, oh, curse of infestation. Ooh. I swear, Never Named is both like the best thing and the worst thing that ever happened to this game. <laughs> no, not really. But it's just it's just funny that like I basically love every single thing he's added to this game, but I constantly complain about his mod. <laughs> I have to say, for the record, I do very much like his mod. It's one of the best mods in the workshop, no offense to everyone else. Um, but it is incredibly high quality. Um, as is a lot of other people's. Um, but yeah, I'm like, oh, curse of honey. Oh, curse of infestation. Oh, curse of sludge. Oh, this chest room's got fucking enemies in it. Oh, this chest room's got turrets in it. Oh, this weapon doesn't have the right animation. Oh, this one's too big. I realize I just complain all the time. <clears throat> Why is there so many mimics? <coughs> I just like to give feedback. It's just usually in the form of bitching and moaning. Oh god, <clears throat> I'm choking. Yeah, it's not my fault it's in the form of bitching and moaning. It is literally my fault, but you know what I mean. Let's just go get him. Use that golden revolver here. Interesting that the obsidian pistol isn't single use. I wonder if it's possible to beat the dragon hitless without not drawing. Is this. Maybe that's possible? I'm gonna try that one day. That seems like an interesting challenge. I bet it's possible. Even the last phase, I think it is possible. You just gotta get lucky. You gotta have a good enough gun to one cycle him. But like, I'm gonna end the run here anyways. Um, but let's uh, let's just see. How far can I get without dodge rolling? Not far at all. You, sometimes you can like, bob and weave through. Like that look, I just walked straight through that little bit there. Damn, you, I think you just gotta find the right path. There you go. Easy kill. Easy kill. It's been an interesting run, though. It's been an interesting run. Lots of fun guns along the way. I hardly cleared this floor, but... Heck. I, I, I have bested this run. I need to go give myself more hegemony credits for next time. Anyhow. Um, one second. Okay. I think this is going to be it for this one. Yep. I'm gonna end this one off. Not gonna go bullet hell this time, just because we don't need to. I mean, we could, but it's. We've had a good run, anyways. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.